Once upon a time, there lived in a pond in a woods, in a woods so old and so huge that no one remembered its name anymore, a bullfrog. No ordinary bullfrog, mind you, but an old, old bullfrog. So old that it had grown to be seven lily pads long and weigh nearly 3,000 flies, this being how bullfrogs measure themselves. It was plain that this was no ordinary bullfrog. In fact, this particular bullfrog individual happened to be the king of the bullfrogs. Now, Old Frogus Rex, as he had called himself, took a special delight in his appearance. He would spend hours admiring himself and his reflection in the pond, adjusting a spot here, adjusting a spot there, changing the color of every spot he touched with his long, sticky, magical tongue to suit his mood, as bullfrog kings are often known to do. But his most attractive feature, Frogus Rex thought, were his eyes. Huge, even in proportion to his seven lily pad long body. And of the most astonishing shades of red and orange. Yes, he would think, I am truly a bullfrog king to be admired. And so he was. For it happened one day, as Frogus was sunning himself in his pond, that he was spotted by a gnarled old woman who was strolling through the woods. As was his custom whenever there was an audience about, old Frogus changed his spots to the most dazzling hues imaginable, puffed himself up as big as could be, and belched the most impressive frog belch. Now, to anyone who understands Bullfrog, that meant, I am the Bullfrog King. Stop and admire me. And Frogus Rex turned his head just a bit, so that the sunlight shone upon his huge red and orange eyes. The old woman, of course, did not speak the king's bullfrog, but the very sound, as it went hurtling past her through the woods, had stopped her dead in her tracks. And when she saw those red and orange eyes, why, she could not help but stare. Very quickly, though, her stare changed. The wrinkles around her sunken eyes deepened as her gaze narrowed, and suddenly an eyebrow shot up. She put a hand to her chin and tugged at the wart which sprouted there and thought, My... But that is the biggest bullfrog I believe I have ever seen. And those eyes! It must certainly be magical. So it was right then and there that old Shrew hatched her wicked plan. I must consult my book of potions, she thought. This froggy may be the key to putting the king under my spell.